Hello and welcome to my channel. I'm Andre. Today's video is a video that I have wanted to make from day one. And I always said once I reach 1000 subscribers, I will be doing the video. And it's a video on dementia. And it's something that I and my family have lived with now for a number of years and it's my mum's dementia and I've sat down I have tried to take notes on how to do this video but it just hasn't worked for me I just can't do it I've spoken to a couple of you about it and I know a couple of you, a few of you, are dealing or have dealt with dementia in your family. And I'm sure thousands and thousands of people are dealing with dementia in their family. I often looked on YouTube um, for videos so I could see how the carer was dealing with it to see if the carer was having to cope with things that I was having to cope with and I could never find that aspect that point of view I would always see you know people in homes and people visiting taking them out dealing with it or how the person with dementia was dealing with it but what I was looking for was the carer, the things that the carer has to put up with, the feelings that you go through. I wanted somebody to tell me what you're feeling is natural, is, it is what it is. So I'm going to try and tell you my story. I don't know how well I'm going to do this. I'm not a very eloquent type of person. I'm just going to speak from the heart. That's the only way I know how. And I have thought and thought about it and I've just now thought I'm going to turn on my iPad and I'm going to do this. So, I when I kind of started realising that my mum had dementia, I suppose the first feeling was denial. That's the first feeling because my mum wasn't going to get bad like everybody else. I remember sitting in my sitting room with nurses, people that had dealt with and seen dementia and they sat and they said to me, Andrew, this is going to get worse. Prepare yourself. And I looked at them and I thought, no chance. I'm going to make sure my mum's not going to get worse. So the first feeling is denial. I wasn't going to let her get worse. But of course she does. And she did. So we dealt with her dementia. So we had episodes of me putting the washing out. My mum bringing it back in. Many, many difficult episodes. Now, my difficulty making this video is I don't want to um you know this is difficult because it's about my mum, so it's my mum's privacy and I don't know how much I want to talk about this is what's making it very difficult for me. I want to talk about things to help people out there, you that's watching this, that's needing help. But I don't know if it's fair on my mum. This is what's so hard for me. But then I think I wanted that. I wanted somebody to see this is what happens. So with dementia, I went through the denial phase. I got over the denial phase and I went into the anger phase because I was tired. I was working, I was dealing with my mum, doing everything that she needed. And when I say everything, 
I mean everything because we are talking about memory here so depending on what part of the memory it affects now my mum has vascular dementia and she now cannot speak she can show sometimes throw the odd word but myself her carers we all have to read whether she's in pain she cannot tell us whether she's in pain so the anger comes in because she does all of these things because she's in that in-between stage of realizing that she shouldn't be doing something but she doesn't know how to do it properly so you know for example when your memory goes you're in a house where's the toilet you don't remember so your body's telling you to hold on hold on hold on then what happens you have to release so it's things like that you know because she just does it she doesn't know she doesn't remember she doesn't remember where to go but then if you put a pad on the person with dementia that's kind of halfway still there, they're like, what the hell is this thing doing on me? And they'll rip it off because they don't understand that and they don't remember why this is on. But they, they're like, why is this on? But at the time, you're angry. You're coming in from work. You're having to clean up all this mess. And it's so very hard so you go through denial and anger and I'm not saying these are overnight phases they're not they take a long time because there's a lot of things that go with this they're up all night they don't know they can't, don't know if it's night time they don't know if it's morning time they don't know if you're not well and you can't cope with them at that point in time they don't know all of this but you're tired and you're having to deal with this it's hard so then we get over that phase and i'm cutting this very short i'm going to do many more videos but i'm just going to give an introductory just now to dementia i would love for you if you're listening to this and you're going through this i would love questions i would rather do a video and answer the questions because for me this is such a big big comprehensive complicated thing subject that i could go on forever but this is just an introductory to it so then you go through the morning period you've realized you've lost that person i lost my best friend i lost the person i could trust the most in this whole wide world the person that would do anything for me so if i told my mum something she would do the best to give me the best answer that's what i lost and that's what i cried my heart out for i wanted my mum back she was my everything i can still go put my head on my mum's knees she'll still hold me she'll still comfort me because that's the person she was she was a very very giving person but i lost that person that i could go to i could talk to so you go through your morning period then it's the acceptance and then you are the parent i am now my mum's parent i am the one that has to look out for my mum i am the only one that can look out for my mum i am the one that will feed her when she needs fed and even when she thinks she doesn't need fed and i know she needs fed i will feed her when she needs water she can't ask for water i have to give her water even when she pushes me away 
I have to give her water because I know she needs water. So this is just a very, very light introduction to what dealing with dementia is. This is all at this point in time that I can say. If you are dealing with dementia, if you are at that difficult phase where the person is hitting out and not accepting what you're doing, it does ease off. There is medication. I will eventually get into all of these things, but it's such a big thing. I just needed to make a start to this because I've put it off and I've put it off and I don't want to put it off any longer. So if you have any questions, please leave them below. If you are dealing with dementia, please tell us about it below. We are here to help each other. This is what is YouTube is about. We need to help each other out there. I have my mum at home. I'm not saying that's the right thing for everybody. It's the right thing for me. It's the right thing for my mum. I knew my mum never ever wanted to go into a home. I'm not saying this is the right thing for you. It's not the right thing for everybody. I know personally I couldn't live with myself if I put her in a home. That's why I have my mum home with me. I know my husband, my family have suffered for that. But it's something that they've never said they have. They're all very accepting of it and I'm very, very lucky for that. I'm now going to end my video here. I thank you for listening and I ask you, please tell me your story. We are here to help. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time.